Hi Gemini, welcome back to your channel. It's always a blessing to have you guys here. If you are new here, welcome. And if you guys are returning back to the channel, welcome, welcome back. Welcome back, Gemini. Hold on, you guys. Let me bring my chair. Let me bring my chair up. Okay. That's better. All right, you know you're a diamond. Please consider to shine bright and beautiful like a diamond. All right, you guys. Thank you for all the love that you show in your reads, okay? Please continue to show love by giving your reads a thumbs up, okay? Let's get into a prayer because a prayer is always a must here. This is going to be Gemini singles, okay? Heavenly Father, as I come before, I ask for your blessings for myself and for my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words. And also giving me the right messages that you want me to share with the ones that need to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praises. In Jesus' name we pray. All right, amen. All right, you guys, so just know that this reading is a general reading, another personal one. So with that being said, it may resonate with you and then again it may not. Please take what does. Leave the absolute rest. The roles could be reversed at any time simply because it's a general, not a personal, okay? Cross watchers, hi. You're more than welcome to be a part of these reads. But the same applies to you guys as well, okay? If you are interested in having a personal with me, you can always connect with me using information that I provided for you, Gemini, and that will be in the description of this video to schedule, okay? All right, let's see what your messages are right now from your angels, from your ancestors, from your spirit guides, from your eye ups, your God and agent, Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, okay? All right, what's the message here for my singles? What is the message for my singles here? What's the message for Gemini singles? What is it that you need to share with Gemini singles right now? Satisfaction. Hmm. What is that? What is that satisfaction? Yes, I lied to you. Hmm. For some of you guys, I'm getting satisfaction. I'm getting, yes, I lied to you, okay? So you're definitely tapped into a situation here where you're not feeling satisfied. As a matter of fact, I'm fearing dissatisfaction, okay? Um, I feel like you've been really tapped into. I feel like somebody really lied here. I feel like this person may want to confess is what I'm hearing my singles. I feel like you're just not satisfied here. You feel like you deserve better. You deserve more. You feel like you're not being given what you might have been given out. Um, what is this? Tell me more. Let's pull a card here. Okay. Can this be fixed? Okay. For some of you guys, you're wondering if this could be fixed or this is just your angel that is asking you, like, you think this could be fixed? Um, I feel like whatever this lie is, it, it's, it's really like... It's bitter. It's bitter. It's brutal. It's wicked. It's vicious. It's corrupt. That's on period, Gemini. That's on period. What is this? What is this? What is this? Can't just answer to spirit guides. What is this? Tapping into the energy of Gemini and whatever needs to be true. But protect me from anything that may harm myself and all those who are watching. Gemini singles. Married but cheat. Okay, so this person that you're connected to is married um, and you're just tired. Okay, if they're not married to you, they're married outside of you. But you're tired. My cup running over. Trust must be given here. And not lies. Somebody is lying. I feel bittersweet here. What's this? Good karma shall follow you. Okay, good karma shall follow you. Because you have been given nothing but the best to this person. I feel like somebody has been really taken for granted. But high divine of fire is here. Alright, so whatever that is. It's a fast movement. I'm seeing action that is needed here. For your mental peace. I've seen determination that is also coming through for some of you, my singles. What's the message? What is the message for my singles? Okay. Mercy shall follow you. That is... Ooh. 
Mercy shall follow you. You're covering it over. Mercy shall follow you. Woo. Blessed and highly favored here. Somebody thought that they could keep you down, but you're rebuilding your energy on period. Your vibe. You're rebuilding your energy on good, positive vibes. I divine a fire. Fast movement, action, and determination is needed, though. Ooh. This one wants to come through. Don't fear the divine of love. My gosh. What is this? Something is over or ended. Whatever this determination that's coming through for you guys, this is something that's going to be calling for effort. I feel like it's also going to be calling for strength. That's what I'm picking up. Tell me more. Twin flame ties. So this could be somebody that you may definitely have some kind of a strong bond with. Um, this could be someone that you might have shared a child or children with. This could have been a marriage. This could have been someone that you might have had some connection with for many years. Um, or this could just be um, a past life love that you have just presently reconnected with or whatever this person is or whoever you want to place them in your life. But there's something here that's binding you guys together. All right, tell me more. Holy Spirit, what's the message here, please? Gemini singles, what's the message? Please care for the messages for Gemini singles, please. Gemini singles. Angels, Holy Spirit, and my angels is my spirit, guys. Please clarify these messages for Gemini singles. Okay, look at that. The Six of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. I feel like you're definitely making some kind of a decision here, my singles. You're about to make a decision. If you have not made it yet, you are about to make it. Because what I'm seeing here is that you're, that regret, honey, that satisfaction that you're looking for, you're moving to another destination in your life. You're leaving something behind with the Six of Swords energy. Um, I feel like, you know, there's a lot of regrets here, though. Um, this could be a regret that you might have thought that you didn't take an opportunity because you might have missed an opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles also being here in the reverse. Um, I feel like, you know, you might have not planned something out. This could have been your future in love. This could be your future with your career or your choices or whatever you have going on in your circle. But there was something that wasn't planned properly here. Um, someone didn't look to see what would have happened in the next couple of months or the next couple of years. I feel like there was definitely red flags though, but someone didn't want to kind of gravitate to those red flags and definitely moved on into a situation where there was definitely no satisfaction guarantee coming through. And this is why angels are saying that the Six of Swords is necessary. Someone is either planning on moving forward uh, because this is a necessary transition here. Uh, just something different. Leaving a lot of things behind because at this point, you feel like it's a necessity at this point. All right. Tell me more. Gemini singles, please. What's the message for Gemini singles? Ooh. The Nine of Swords, the Empress Energy, the Ace of Cups in the reverse, and the Magician also in the reverse. I really feel like you're definitely really dealing with a lot of anxiety here, okay? Um, you're very, very much um, tapped into depression for some of you guys. Dealing with nightmares, waking up sweating in the middle of the night with intense anxiety and despair. But I really feel like you definitely have to tap into the Empress's energy, which is rebuilding a structure, is getting things back on track, starting something new here, um, finding the beauty in yourself to gravitate to this abundance here. And just know whatever you're leaving behind, you're leaving it behind because there's a lot of blockages here with the Ace of Cups in the reverse. All right. I feel like these blockages are really suppressing your happiness. And manipulation that is coming through to confirm that with the magician in the reverse. Master of manipulation. And again, I feel like there was a lot of planning that didn't go right. It's like 
It's like, even if there were plans, those plans didn't make any sense. It didn't make any sense then when they were being made. It didn't make any sense now. The door sham them ain't going to make no sense next 10 years from now. If you don't move on with the divine of fire. Okay? Movement. Period. Determination. Tell me more. All right. Okay, so you have the Two of Wands in the reverse. You have the Knight of Wands also here, the Ten of Swords in the reverse. You have the King of Cups energy in the upright. The Three of Swords also is here with the Hermit, all right? So I have, I'm seeing the moon here in the back of the deck with the Chariot and the Death. So there's definitely change here, but some, somebody is feeling stuck that they're unable to move from a very unhealthy life, moving very slowly with the Chariot here and definitely hiding secrets with the moon in the upright. Something is hiding here. This could be fear or anxiety or something. Some, someone is suppressing something here. But there's definitely clarity that's coming through. I feel like you're either searching for this clarity or this clarity is finding you thanks to your angels and your ancestors and your spirit guides who are doing that. There's also fear that is coming through with this also, with the hermit. Um, you know, fear of the unknown. Fear of what shit doesn't work if I make a move. Okay. And again, a lack of planning. If you don't have this plan on point, baby, you're going to be stuck. All right? Um, for some of you already are. <laughs> okay, you have the Ten of Swords that tells me that you're trying to recover from being damn stuck here. And then you have the King of Cups here and the Knight of Wands with the Three of Swords. You definitely felt like you had dealt with a third party situation here. Very painful. You guys could be in separation with this Three of Swords. Um, a lot of sorrow, a lot of heartbreak, a lot of grief, a lot of rejection here. This person is acting very stupid. And very weird. Whether it's a past, a present, or what's coming, this person is acting really uh, delusional. Okay? Um, I really feel like the balance is needed. You're either needed to take under control, or this could be them. Okay? But you're healing. You're releasing. You're healing. You're moving forward. You're not letting fear stop you here. The Knight of Wands is also here. Energy, passion, lust. This is what I'm seeing here. Um, this person is there either want to apologize or not because they're very impulsive here. Okay. All right. Tell me more. Clarify this, please. Please clarify this. All right. So we're clarifying with the queen of wands energy. Also, we have the queen of, queen of, the queen of pentacles in the reverse. All right, the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, and you also have the Eight, the Eight of Pentacles also here in the reverse. Okay, so I'm seeing, you know, whatever is going on here is like, and just take it a resonance with you, but someone is not there. It's like this somebody has no ambition here. That that's just on period. This could be who you're connected to, or this is how this person sees you. But because you also have the Queen of Wands, keep this in mind in the upright. Um, I'm seeing determination, like massive determination that is needed. And th that determination is like coming through your reads, my single. Your entire read is based on determination. Look at that. The eight, the eight of cups, the nine of cups in the reverse, the, um, the ace of wands, more blockages here and setbacks. You, you're going to have, have to be determined. That's what your life cycle is calling for, for you to be determined. All right, let's see. Tell me more. All right, so you have a tower moment here. All right, major kind of setback here. All right, this that was caused because of greed. If this wasn't you, this is who's connected to you. Um, you know, somebody's either self-protecting what they have, being very stubborn, hold on to what they they have, their possessions, hold on to their thought, don't give a shit about nobody. Your feelings are nobody else's but theirs. This person at the with an ego, and this is why the tower is here, okay? Disaster. Sudden changes. Why do I feel like I'm missing some cards? My deck fell yesterday, and I feel like I'm maybe missing some cards here. I don't know. Tell me more. All right, what is this? All right, so you have a Hierophant in the reverse. All right, so you're definitely dealing with some kind of a challenge here, a challenging. All right, now somebody's trying to challenge you. <laughs> okay, um, or this person is just, just being very uh, restricting here. All right, this is you. What is the hair font in the reverse? Because I feel like you guys are not even on the same spiritual pathway here. 
you're maybe riding a spiritual form on your own here. This person is not your typical, yeah, the two of cups. Look at that, confirmation. That's confirmation. So there must have been some kind of a breakup here. If you if there's a breakup, you're definitely going to be dealing with a tower here. And then you're definitely not having any spiritual connection here because this person is doing something that you're not resonating with, okay? Um, there's no harmony that's coming through this two of cups here. And I'm really feeling like, you know, somebody is just emotionally insecure at this point. All right, there's a lot of emotional insecurity at this point based on codependency with the Queen of Cups energy in the reverse. All right, tell me more. What is going on here for Gemini singles? Gemini singles. All right, so you also have the lovers in the reverse. You have the Knight of Swords in the reverse, and then you have the Chariot. That's coming through very slow, but still, with the Chariot here, it really tells me that you're going to have to take control here. You have to have willpower moving forward. There's movement, but there, and there's also victory, but again, determination is needed. Why? Because you have the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Swords energy in the reverse. This person is a quick thinker. They're very quick at how they feel, what they want. So you have to really be on top of your game here. There's definitely decisions and choices that needs to be made with the lovers in the reverse. Because again, you're dealing with disharmony and you're dealing with satis dissatisfaction. Okay, that was your very first card that came through here. Satisfaction. Are you getting the satisfaction that you need? Are you getting disharmony? Okay, now I'm really feeling like your situation here, whatever it is that you're going through at this point, Gemini singles, you're definitely feeling like your life is very imbalanced here. Okay. Um, but you're going to have to value yourself. This is what I'm seeing for some of you guys. It's all about value. It's all about strength. It's all about what you need. It's all about manifesting your life accordingly. It's all about staying focused here and determined. Because determination is definitely needed here. Rebuilding your energy. Rebuilding your structure. Leaning on your everlasting. Which is the high divine of fire here. For movement. Movement here. Movement with the six of swords. Because healing is coming through. I really feel like once you make this this move um, away from whatever it is that you're feeling or whatever it is that you're going through. Um, the Six of Swords tells me that you, you're you going to have to make that move. It's like, it's a very unhealthy cycle where you're at right now. It's not giving you any, any peace at all. Um, and so now it's time to make a decision that suits you. Okay? And when I say you, I mean you. <laughs> all right, my darling. This is going to be your reads, my singles. You guys requested this one. So I hope that you... Thumbs it up because you requested it. Okay. Um, I love you guys to the moon and star. Once again, thank you guys so 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 much for um thumbsing up your um your readings because it does help the channel to grow and it does support you know your girl. This is how we grow when you do that, okay? And I love you guys and I appreciate all of you for that. If you have not subscribed to my channel, Life is Juliana, please go over and subscribe to that channel now. All you have to do is um, go on my community wall and you will see the videos that I post there. Click on those videos. It takes you to my channel and go ahead and subscribe. And while you subscribe, you'll say hello in the comments and let me know that you are there. Okay? I love you guys to the moon and stars. Um, pray for me also as I'm praying for you guys. And with that said, always remember to seek first and you always find. Bye, guys.